No. Can we fit three people into a frame? Let's see. <laughs> I think we can. Oh, and we got this lamp, which is killing us. Right, well, good morning. Good morning it is guys. our first day here in Tokyo. The yes. gang. We're gonna go out, have some lunch because yeah. it's a pretty late start, actually. We're gonna wander around and basically check out what our first impressions are of Tokyo, Japan. And we've got oh our good my. buddy Rob from Stop Having a Boring Life to join us. This is gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. So the mission will include food. We're gonna go visit some of maybe the busiest areas in Tokyo, maybe some temples, and also show you our neighborhood as well. in Tokyo and it's gonna be Coco Curry. Yes, we have eaten there before in Osaka several times, but it's really good. It's yeah. what we're craving and it's right here. And Rob, so let's you, do it. Rob, you've never tried this, have you? I've never tried Coco Curry, but if you guys like it, I like it. Yeah, I'm confident you're gonna like it, man. Cool, I'm in. Today, we are experimenting. At Rob's request, actually, you wanted to try more than one. Yeah. So we have the cheese-filled hamburger with curry. Yes. We also got a chicken cutlet with curry yeah. and the classic pork cutlet. You ready for this, Rob? I'm beyond ready. This is my first time at Coco Curry House. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, team. Food has arrived, and it's time to try it. In we go. So I'm gonna try this curry sauce. What do you think, Audrey? It's good. This is a classic. It's what I've been eating all along. Yeah. What do you think, Rob? How's that curry? How's that chicken? It's good. I'll tell you. It's like deliciously uneventful. It's, it's what I think it is. There's nothing less, there's nothing more. Yeah. But it's good. I feel like yours may be the star of the meal. Let's mm -hmm. all yeah. dig into These that. guys already have food envy of mine. <laughs> this is the burger. All right, mister. All right, so you guys have had envy about this. I'm just gonna bring this bad boy. Look at all that cheese, guys. Look Ooh. at all of that cheese going in. Just taking it for a swim. Whoa. That is awesome. That cheese is so good. It looks gooey. Can you oh turn my your gosh. plate around? It's super gooey. Bring that over here. Look at that. Wow. Super gooey. It's super tasty too. Okay. All right, so we are done eating. Yeah, you took care of that, I'm, especially you boys. Price point for the dish was, was about the high 700s in yen, which is about seven US dollars. So yeah, we've got our food in us and now we're ready to explore the busy side of Tokyo. I'm going to be getting a Suica card. This uh -huh. is uh, basically an essential card for taking the train here in Tokyo. It allows yeah. you to like change between all the different lines and you can just drop money in and off of the card. It's going to be perfect for us. I'm going to get two of them. All right, let's for us. do it. Success. Ta da! Great success. success. We so needed we some in, help, but we figured it out. Yeah, we put a thousand yen on both. Apparently, the card itself is worth 500 each. Confusion, guys, what happened? We were on the right train, but we stayed on too long. All right, guys, so a little change of plans. We were on the train on our way to Shibuya, and then we realized we were at Harajuku, so that seems like a good first introduction to Tokyo. We decided to get off and we're right in front of Takashita Street. I think it's gonna be all about the crazy fashion, so let's go see it. Okay, I think we have made it maybe like halfway down the street here yeah. in Harajuku. Impression. What are you thinking so far? Uh, the population density is off the charts. Yeah. You know, walking down a like a crazy busy street. It's like, like a mass of yeah. tourists though. That's yes. the thing. This isn't like a local spot. This no. is like all tourists with their cameras. Just like us. Just like us. Having to experience Harajuku. There's lots of cutesy little things like there's yes. cat cafes and there's interesting kind of like made outfits you can buy. And yes. All Very girly fashion. Yes. But I haven't seen any of the outrageous outfits that I've heard before. No. Yet. So no. we're still in the hunt for that.
confession, I only came in here to ride down the escalator. We have entered big camera. This, this is, is heaven for Sam. Kid in a candy shop moment. This reminds me of B and H in New York City. This is like a camera mega store. And I'm just gonna go around and look. I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy, but I may walk out of here or something. Just saying. This is the brand that I, that we have, but it looks like even better than what we have. Look, it's silk? slick. Oh, slick. Yeah, <laughs> it's not silk. That's old. It doesn't go very high though. That's the problem. Maybe that's why it's cheap. Time for Shibuya Crossing in action happening behind me. It's an intersection with like three different lights, maybe more. A lot of people, a lot of action. What did you think? That's insane. I've never seen anything quite like it. behind Shibuya, the craziness, the crowds, and we've walked over to Yoyogi Park. I'm feeling pretty tired. We've been walking a long time and it's super hot, super humid today. So I think the plan is to find some ice creams. Some soft serve ice cream would be really nice right about now. And just a nice patch of grass so we can have a little nap, a little update. Ice cream. Ice cream. You ice scream, ice we all scream, scream for ice cream. Someone's been craving ice cream. Yes. What kind are you gonna get? Chocolate. Chocolate. Got my ice cream, chocolate, soft serve. It was not cheap. We paid 400 yen, which I feel like is quadruple. It's it was value. ridiculously overpriced. But it's so hot. It was Audrey's idea, and I, I got one too. You got roped along. And when it came, mm. I just said I should have looked at Audrey's first, because guys, <laughs> I mean, it's okay, but I. Four dollars? Yeah. yeah, maybe not. What's going on, man? You just look like you're about to die. I like choked on that ice cream, <laughs> and then for some reason, it all hit areas of my teeth that were sensitive at the same time. It was just a really unpleasant, stressful experience, <laughs> considering we're in Yogi Park right now, and it's like really calm. So I'm, I'm mellow again, but that was just a horrible. That was weird. You know what? I never should have bought that ice cream. That ice cream. I heard a loud I know, there's a loud groan. <laughs> I have a groan of pain. <laughs> now let me go back to filming these people having a picnic. So basically this is like the stark contrast between where we were earlier in the day. It was pure modernity, pure madness in terms of crowds. And just like, this is a nice green escape right in the heart of Tokyo. So what do you think about it? I kind of, I, I totally agree with what you're saying. Tokyo is nice because you've got the craziness of the Shibuya scramble yep. and then less than a kilometer and a half away, you've got the peacefulness of Yogi Park. Exactly. It's a beautiful Saturday and well, it's spring, but it feels like summer. Yep. Obviously it feels like half of Tokyo is here right now. It's just relaxing and yeah. it's nice. here we're chilling out with beers cheers, cheers my friend what did you think of our first day here in tokyo together i thought it was good i thought it was busy i thought we covered a lot of ground yeah this isn't going to be a typical day that's that's we went full throttle yeah, he says that now i have a feeling this is going to be a very <laughs> typical day maybe 
we're, we're loving being here in Tokyo so far and it's Saturday night we have no plans to go out but we will say goodbye to you so cheers one more time <laughs> thanks for watching and we will have a new episode soon from Tokyo Japan Bye.